poor Scooby and Shaggy. The irony is, after years of being beat and running from creeps in monster costumes, when they're actually not with the rest of Mystery Incorporated, their personal solo adventures usually led them straight into the arms of the real monsters. And that's exactly what they got in 1988's Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School. When Shaggy, Scooby, and Scrabby take a job as gym teachers at Miss Grimwood's school for girls, they unknowingly become gym teachers to the Grimwood girls, the daughters of iconic horror monsters. Sibella, daughter of Count Dracula, Elsa, daughter of Frankenstein, Phantasma, daughter of the Phantom, Tannis, the mummy's daughter, and Grimwood's resident werewolf, Winnie, daughter of the Wolfman. Hello! Winnie was voice played by Marilyn Schreffler a character notorious for usually howling every chance she got. Out of the five girls, Winnie was the second smallest next to Tannis, but due to her werewolf abilities, she was one of the most athletically gifted among them, which gave her a tremendous super strength, in which you can imagine was only a small portion compared to the strength her father possessed. And even though she was a werewolf, Winnie never actually broke out of her wolf form, a trait that was skipped over, much like how Sabella was not weak to sunlight. As she focused on beating the Callaway cadets in volleyball just like the rest of the Grimwick girls, they were unaware of Voltaba's plotting to kidnap them, so she can become the most powerful witch of all time. Troy, have you got the wrong girl? Oh! <laughs> Not only was Winnie a brave character, she was also overconfident. Believing she could outrace Grim Creeper, she accidentally walks into Revolta's trap. Being the first to get mind controlled, she became the first instrument of Revolta to catch most of the remaining girls. Now obedient slaves in her lair, before the old spell had a chance to wear off, she attempted to cast a spell on all of them that would turn them all evil permanently. But Scooby and Shaggy mistakenly break her control during a rescue mission. Before Revolta's unstable wand could explode, the gang is rescued by the Callaway cadets and taken back to their school. After calling it quits, the last time we see Winnie and the rest of the Grimwood girls, we see them waving goodbye to Scooby, Shaggy, and Scrappy. Thank you all for tuning in to Furry Girl Profiles Winnie the Werewolf. If you liked today's video, please leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe for future videos. My name is Jawbreaker, and I thank you for watching Play for Cinema.